Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to take you along as I'm planning my first week back in my second semester. I'm a little bit nervous, you guys. We have taken a two-week break in my homeschool. I really was trying to take another week, but all of my kids, they are definitely ready for some more normalcy in our homeschool. Um, we took off from December 20th until January 5th was like our full on uh, Christmas or holiday break, which was about two weeks. I was thinking about taking another week off, you guys, and doing three, and then I starting the day after Martin Luther King Day. But my oldest, she said she's ready to start. My younger ones, I can tell they are ready for some like type of normalcy and like our schedule. We've been like all over the place. We really just let it loose this holiday season. So I'm excited for us to like get, you know, started back up and, you know, gear up for our second semester. So I have my planner here, you guys, and I'm going to flip you guys around and I'm going to take you along with me as I plan out our second semester. Now, I have gotten so many comments from you guys wanting to see how my planner looks mid-year. So before I get into the planning, I'm going to, you know, show you guys how my planner is looking now that it's halfway completed. Like some of the things that I uh, added in here uh, because a lot of you guys really have been enjoying using your school nest planners too. One thing I will say is I regret not getting the bigger planner and for next year I'm definitely getting the bigger planner because I definitely uh, want more spots for me to be able to like write out different notes and things like that throughout the week so um, I'm definitely not getting the minimalist planner. I need the big bad boy <laughs> especially that you know I'm going to be officially doing all three of my kiddos so this one's been good this year but um, I really wish I got the bigger one so I'm gonna go ahead you guys and flip you around and we're gonna go ahead and plan out my first week of my second semester. Okay, you guys, here is my school nest planner and I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick uh, B-roll of some flip through of how my planner looks and here we go. Okay, you guys, that is a quick snippet of my planner. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the overcap recap of my goals that I have for this week and how I'm planning to attack everything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start off with my younger two and go ahead and show you guys the planning and how I'm prepping for them. And then I'll go into my uh, sixth grader because we are making a few curriculum changes. If you guys see my mid-year update, I did make a mid-year science curriculum change and I do have some uh, plans for my oldest and I'm going to share them with you guys when I get there. Um, but first, let's start off with the easy ones and we will go into my kindergarten and my preschooler. So you guys, first things first, I like to share with you, I'm going to share with you guys some things that I do in the morning for my younger two. So um, this is like our morning work, what I do with them while my oldest is upstairs working in, with math. I've been utilizing that time working with penmanship. So this is for my newly four-year-old. We are going to come 
come back in and using this book for her beginner strokes. Um, as you guys can see, she used this book when she was three. So I need to get some alcohol wipes and uh, wipe it off. But I'm going to really focus on these two pages with her beginner strokes and prepping her for her handwriting without tears book. So this is what I'm going to be working with with handwriting in the morning with my uh, three-year-old for her morning work and for my um, five-year-old. This is her Black Line Masters for her numbers from Kindergarten Math with Confidence. This is actually a copy of her old um, handwriting without tear book with her capital practice review so she can practice all her letters every single day on the dry erase sleeve. And the letter we're going to start off with is K um, is what we're going to um, really hone in on because I believe it's K, Z, and J are the only letters she's kind of still struggling with fluency. So um, after this, we will be hitting into the lowercase letters with her. So this is um, their like morning uh, handwriting sheets that they work on for my younger two that I keep downstairs for them. Now, as far as like some morning fun things that I do with my younger kiddos, this is the opportunity that I always grab some activities from my shelf. So this week I'm keeping it really simple for like their fun morning activities. We're going to do some coloring. So I picked up these LOL doll coloring books from uh, the Dollar Tree. You guys, they definitely are into LOL doll. So we're going to work on some coloring to get those, you know, hand muscles going again for uh, my younger two. I have the paint with waters. You guys, if you find these at the Dollar Tree, please get them. They're so much fun. They're so easy. All you need is a paintbrush, a little thing of water, and they keep them busy for a while. So we're going to do our paint with water this week. And then we're also going to do our uh, pasting and cutting skills this week. So these are all things I'm going to go ahead and keep downstairs. So um, I have a variety of activities for us to do in the morning time and I'm not scrambling. So I think this is plenty um, like morning start for my younger two and these are just some ideas for you guys if you do have younger ones now for my younger two as well I didn't get an opportunity to go to the library you guys to get a whole bunch of books so what I did was I just looked on my bookshelf to see if I can find like any wintry themed books so I can ensure I'm doing their read aloud so I found some cute ones so we're gonna read the snowy day uh, froggy gets dressed the snow dancer this is the mitten this is Goodbye Autumn, Hello Winter. Some of their favorites they love. This is uh, Celebration of Sisters. This is an Usborne book, it's so cute. They love this book. If you give a cat a cupcake, you know, the whole series, if you give a mouse a cookie, they love that whole series. So I just pulled out this one. Of course, uh, my younger one, she definitely still loves Pete the Cat. And this is our math picture book for my um, kindergartner for the week, which is How Tall. I was able to go ahead and pick up all of the math picture books that I'm going to need for this uh, six week term. So that's all I was able to check out from the library. But hopefully we'll go to the library and I'll have some more books for next week. But I think this is enough books to kickstart them off for our first week back to homeschool. OK, you guys, the first subject I have to semi plan is kindergarten math with confidence. Uh, we are starting off um, week 21, which is going over length. One thing I really enjoy about the kindergarten math with confidence is it has like a, a list right here of all the things that I need. So the only thing I have to do, these are actually my paper clips from my desk. So what I'm going to do is just put some in a baggie for this exercise. I needed a ruler. So I stole my oldest daughter's ruler. So hopefully she doesn't mind. So I have a ruler and then it also called for some uh, center mirror cubes. And I had these ones right here from a uh, Brielle when I use them with her and um, I just need to pull out some for her when we're doing our measurements so I have the centimeters cube so I just need to add these few things inside of my math box for my daughter I think all of the other um, number cards that I need like the um, index cards for the numbers I already have these made out so I don't really have to worry about that so we're going over a uh, length this is crazy. Uh, she's already at this point. We're doing this. Um, this exercise looks so cute all about me. Look, we got to measure her foot and her hand. I can't wait to do that one. So this looks like it's going to be a fun week for her um, kindergarten math with confidence. And it looks like after that, we're going into weight and capacity. So uh, those are the few supplies that I needed. So I'm just going to add those to uh, my math box. And I think I'm going to go ahead and um, 
put them in a baggie so I can just have them all on her desk. So that one was really simple. So uh, we are all ready to go with kindergarten math with confidence. Okay, you guys, the next subject for Leia is phonics. So I'm going to continue to use Explode the Code this week, especially since she, um, you know, we haven't been doing phonics for two weeks. So I think what I'm going to do is when we start off our phonics instruction, uh, maybe we will just come in and do a few review pages for um, her as far as her CVC word practice. I have her all of her green words that she already has mastered. I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna go over all of them uh, for maybe the first couple of days. I have in my little basket, my mom got me these baskets for Christmas for my homeschool. Aren't they cute? So I uh, pulled out some of the few, the next few Bob books that she can read. So um, we can do some practice as far as her reading fluency with her Bob books. I found this little uh, viewfinder at the Dollar Tree, you guys, for when she's reading her words. So hopefully she'll like these. It came in a pack of like 10. So I have that for her. And we're going to start off the week with Explode the Cold. And once I see she's like, you know, her muscles got warmed up, we're going to go ahead and start back in our All About Reading. I believe we are going into Lesson 8. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So we're in lesson eight. It's nothing really I need to do as far as all about reading because it's already prepped. We use our um, the app with the letter tiles on it. So all I have to do is press lesson eight and we're good to go. The only thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to uh, look in my binder right here and I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the lesson eight um What's this called? I think this is like the activity pages. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and put it inside of my, um, I'm gonna put it inside of my All About Reading book so I can have it. And you guys, I'm so happy I did prep it. So I already have like the little uh, fluency cards for us um, as far as her word flippers already ready to go and prepped. So uh, that's really, really good. I did that already. I mean. I know it's a lot of prep work, but it's so worth it in the end. So um, I think she's really gonna enjoy this activity. So I have the activity pages. I have her uh, fluency page in here as well. And hopefully she will enjoy using her new um, little viewfinder that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put this big binder with my activity um, book back on my shelf. And I'm just going to put in her basket um, her activity pad. So that's all ready to go. So, um, I'm so happy I did do that prepping. Now I didn't prep the whole all about reading. I only prepped half of it because that was my goal to finish half of this this year. So if I see we're doing it more, I'll probably prep more. So that is everything as far as Leia's, uh, reading her phonics, um, all of the work that I'm going to be doing with her this week. And of course her handwriting. So she's all good to go. Um, now, as far as my preschooler, you guys, uh, we have started JDA's uh, math and I already have the page number where we're at for her. So she just loves this little book, you guys. Um, we just do however many pages she wants to do. Now, this was the PDF file. I think the book looks a little bit different. So for my newly four-year-old, I'm just gonna let her do as many pages as she wants to, but we are going to kickstart back her uh, preschool math at home. And right now we are on, I think this is chapter four, and we are about to start, or I'm gonna introduce her now to the 10 frame. So I can put my five frame away because she has that mastered um, and go ahead and get her started. I think what I'm gonna do for her is I'm just going to use our uh, linking blocks for her, for her kindergarten math with confidence. Uh, in the winter time, I found some cute little snowflakes and Christmas trees that I use with them. And I think if I can find some cute Valentine's Day manipulatives, I will use that once it comes to like February. But for now, I'm just gonna use my regular Lincoln blocks with her um, preschool math at home. So that is her uh, math. As far as her little phonics uh, basket, my mom got these baskets. Um, I'm just gonna review her letter sounds. Here are the CBC words we're practicing with her. And I went ahead and I just took out her favorite color of her Lincoln blocks right here. So when I set up her desk at the end, literally I can just stack all these things up and she's ready to go. And I think that's all I'm gonna do with Alana, my four-year-old uh, this week, along with like her morning starters. Okay, you guys, um, now that I have my uh, younger two, 
all finished. This is like all the goals for the week. I do have Messy Art Friday. I didn't figure out like what art project I wanna do on Friday, but hopefully I can find a wintry theme project on Pinterest and they'll have fun doing that. So that's something I need to add to my checklist for Messy Art Friday. But uh, that's everything they're gonna do our first week back at school. Um, so they're all good to go. Now let's go to my sixth grader, you guys. So Brielle has finished Matthew C. Zeta and I'm so proud of her. Um, so I already have math, you see, pre-algebra ready for her to go. I still have it in a shrink wrap, you guys, because I'm like so excited about this. But before we head into math, you see, pre-algebra, she has been off of math for about two weeks. Um, I kind of don't want to just like throw her into the, you know, the ocean. I want to give her like some breathing room to kind of get her skills back up, especially since she's starting a new semester. So what we're going to do is our first week back, we are going to just do our supplemental math, which is our Oak Meadows Math 6. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Um, Brielle can actually take the final for this um, Oak Meadows Math 6. I'm just using this as a review and um, I guess like a review and supplement in preparation for her standardized test at the end of the year. So, um, that's exactly how we're going to use it. So, uh, since we're just kickstarting back school, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and let her start off the week doing, um, Oak Meadow. And like I said, this is just going to be a review, get her feet back, you know, started wet. Um, so this is what she's going to be doing as far as math this week. We may do lessons 19 and 20, because again, like I said, this is just all review for her. And I just want her to, you know, get kickstarted back and, uh, give her a gentle start when it comes to that. So that is what Bree's going to do for math. And, you know, that's what I wrote down right here. So that is all ready to go. Now, as far as her English block, I'm keeping it really, really simple. So of course, we're going to do fix it grammar. We're coming in at um, week 16. So this is about the halfway point for fix it grammar. She's just going to come in and do her one sentence a day. And uh, most of this is just review. She typically reads this on her own, and then she kind of goes throughout the week. So I have this all ready for her as as far as fix it grammar we're going to be doing her oak metals uh english six now for the lesson 18 it's just a vocabulary review for this whole week so what i'm going to do is all the vocabulary words that she's done so far i'm going to give her like a oral test and we'll work on that so um this oral review i might split up the words into two days it's going to be really simple for her as far as her uh, vocabulary review in English. So I'm happy she's coming in Oak Meadows English with a lighter week as well. So that's really cool as far as that goes. So since it is a lighter week for her in Oak Meadow, what we're going to do is we are going to do IEW this week as well. So it's definitely not too much. She's not writing really much in any of her other subjects. So in IEW right now, we are coming in it at um, unit three, week four. It says that this week, we can take two weeks on this assignment if we want to right here, but she'll be able to write this three paragraph uh, assignment in one week. So this is going to be um, IEW that we're going to do this week along with her English since English is so uh, simple. So that's her lineup with that. As far as her ancient civilizations, we are starting a new unit. So on week 18, she's learning about Islam. We finished up, when we finished up our um, Oak Meadow week 17, we finished it up talking about Christianity. So now we're just finishing off uh, talking about different types of religion. So uh, this week is really, really simple. Um, she has an opportunity to, uh, we're going to read about the Islam and the text. She has an art project for this week and she has to write a one page research paper um, this week as well. But what I think since we're just coming into Oak Meadow, I think I'm going to take two weeks on this lesson 18. I find some weeks I like spending two weeks on them and it all equals out because some of the weeks are lighter. Some of them are heavier. So since this is a heavier week, I mean, these are all questions that they want her to answer in paragraph form. So question three and four, they want her to write a paragraph or a few sentences. And then right here, this is a, they want her to do like some type of community outreach uh, project this week as well. So I definitely want to give her two weeks with this lesson 18. So that's why we're going to do IEW. So she'll probably write the paper next week. So um, that's all Bree is going to be doing as far as history and um, English as far as her um, 
Oak Meadow goes. Now the new book she's going to be reading is a hundred and or a thousand and one inventions and awesome facts of um, or from Muslim civilizations is the book she's going to be reading since she's going over Islam. And this is just such a cool reference book. So um, this is what we're going to be reading together this week, which is awesome. So that is all she has for history, which again, I'm really, really happy we're kind of coming in at like a lighter week with her. So that is her her math, English, and history all planned out. Now we're going to go into um, science and health, what I'm going to be doing for her as well. Now for science, you guys, we did make a mid-year curriculum change for science and we are doing Apologia's Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics. Now, if you guys seen my um, earlier video that I made at the beginning of this year, I had all intentions to donate this curricula, but I never actually got a chance to. And when our science wasn't working, and I was like, you know what, I can just pull this out of my closet and we can cover science. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I am, I'm really happy with this Apologia uh, Chemistry and Physics. Um, I see the hype of Apologia and it's been going really well. And Brielle can do this independently and she's been enjoying it. So um, the only thing about this so far is that I think I'm going to go ahead and get the lab kit because right now I have like a small list of uh, things that I need for our experiments this week. We're on lesson two, which is about week four of this curricula. So um, in order for me to complete this curriculum by the end of the um so we're right here. So in order for me to complete this curricula by the end of the semester, I definitely need to do science uh, at least Monday through Friday for her uh, because I seen a lot of people were able to really fast track this science because it's only um, 28 you know, weeks. But what we're going to do is we're probably the first, uh, like probably the first six to 12 weeks of our school. My goal is for us to do um, science Monday through Thursday. So then we're able to cover, instead of doing two days of science a week, we'll do four. So we're able to cover two lessons, um, especially since we really didn't do science that well. So I'm hoping we can finish this curricula by the end of the semester. That's just my goal, but you know, we'll see. But so far it's been going well. So this is our science right here. Now, one thing I am adding in for uh, Brie is we are going to go ahead and start health. This, I have all intentions, you guys, on doing this unit over the summertime, but summer happened. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Brielle got her braces over the summer and it was it was chaotic. So I didn't, really didn't get a chance to do this unit that I wanted to do over the summer. So it's fine. We're just going to be doing science and health. We're going to have heavier science than history. It's so that's kind of how it's going to go this semester. So we're going to start off with this book. It's so amazing. And um, it has 22 lessons in this book. So um, hopefully we can at least come at it two to three times a week and we'll have it completed in our first six week term. But I'm really not in a rush. We're going to just take our time. So as long as we get to this at least twice a week, I'll be happy. And if we finish this book, I'm going to go into the second book in the series, which is It's Perfectly Normal. And we will work on this one as well. So these are our two books we're going to be using uh, this semester for health. That is science and health. Now, another new thing that we're adding in for Brielle is we're going to start off a new Bible study with her. So not consumed, you guys, I've been hearing so much about not consumed, uh, just in general on uh, YouTube, I want to give it a try. So uh, these are two of the units that I got on sale. They had so many sales over the holiday time. So I'm going to let Brie choose whichever Bible study she wants to do, either Fruit of the Tongue or Making Lemonade, which is Trusting God Through Life Struggles. And Fruit of the Tongue is a, bl a biblical study on the power of God's word. So these are our two um, new Bible studies that we're going to do. I believe both of these studies, they take anywhere between three and four weeks. I'm not in any rush. We're going to just take our time. But I definitely knew what I was doing for her. She definitely is ready for a bump in um, our biblical study. So we're going to be doing this along with our hymn study. And that's how simple I'm keeping our morning Bible time with my oldest uh, this second semester. Um, I'm cutting out all the fluff and we're just getting to the meat. So that is like my plan for our second semester, you guys. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoy coming along with me as I planned out my first week of my second semester. You guys, we're going to cross our fingers. Please wish 
wish me some luck send some prayers up for me as I'm starting off my second semester I have like the butterflies in my stomach I'm a little bit nervous but hopefully we can kind of get back into our routine and you know it'll be a smooth transition for us here in our household I really hope that you guys are all having smooth transitions as you're you know dusting off the books and kick-starting your homeschool as well so as always you guys thank you so much for watching today's video and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.